Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. We're going out back. We're going to start up her John Deere. We're going to pull it around the front. Um, tires came in today. That was fast. <laughs> Ordered them Thursday. And I kept getting a... I got a uh, email from UPS saying that something weighed 12 pounds. It's coming Friday. And then Friday, I got an email saying that it was... Um, rescheduled for today which is Saturday I didn't know what it was till this morning then I looked it up and I was like oh okay those are the tires so that was fast <laughs> two days uh, while well, ordering them Thursday night so that's pretty good um, they were like $41 so alright let's get out here and get on the tractor neighbors mowing so um once we get the tractor around front, I think I'll wait until he's done mowing and then we'll start working on the tires. Stick around. All right guys, here we go. I was heading to my tractor. Right. Get this thing. these exact ones but I've changed tires like this before on the tractor but I'm gonna go ahead and take these off see if they need greased I haven't greased them in a while it's been a couple years so we'll get it jacked up and uh, we'll go from there Not going to be under it so i'm not going to put any stands it'll be fine guys so we gotta pull these caps off and they're as hard as a brick <laughs> they're supposed to be rubber but so i'm gonna go get some tools and we're gonna start taking this wheel off Yeah, it's almost like a plastic now. I'm going to need to get a rag too. This is just an E-clip or, well, C-clip. Uh, I don't know what you guys can see and what you can't. There you go. Alright, so I'm going to set that up there. Set that up there. That company that's sending me these wheels, 
They also have bearing kits for these too. I don't think it's gonna need a bearing kit. Almost knocked you guys out. All right. Yeah, they look pretty good, so. I was hoping this would come off the bead any other time. It would come off the bead bringing it around here or it's already off. Uh, so I'm gonna pull this valve stem out. Not the valve stem, the valve core out. It's a Schrader valve. I'm gonna pull that out and then uh, we'll see if we can get this tire broke down. Shouldn't be that hard. Try not to lose that. Swallow it, so that way you know where it is. All right, let's see what we can do here. I mean, I could always put it back on. And put it and drive it around the driveway. And get that to pop off the bead. I think that's what I'm going to try to do. Let's put this back on. It should pop it off the bead. move this other stuff so I don't lose it and we'll drive it around and see what happens Well, that didn't work any other time I pull it from around back and it's off the bead so I might have to wait till monkey gets back and run over with the car or the SUV we'll see hang on and I wasn't recording but it helped it what I did was I just uh, put some WD-40 around there a lot of guys most guys you're supposed to anyway put a uh, soapy water on it but this was handy so I just grabbed this sorry about the background noise but it's okay you gotta keep your grass cut and there we go so that did help I may end up doing that with the other one too Hopefully I don't have to break out my tire spoons because I think it's overkill on this. Oh, 
There we go. We got her going now. Broke my screwdriver. So, I guess I hit it too many times with a hammer. Or her dad. I think this was one of her dad's. Alright, there we go. Now, I'm going to clean that up. I'm not going to bore you with it. Uh, man, I hope it's not leaking around that rim. I don't think it is. But, let me go grab a tire and get this cleaned off. I'm not going to bore you with cleaning that off. This is what I was talking about. Hope it's not leaking here, but I don't think it is. But I'll clean it off. And uh, right here's where they usually rust. Right in here. But uh, so and then uh, I'll bring a tire out and we'll get the new tire put on it. Okay guys, let's get this wheel on here. I just shot some spray paint around that rust spot to keep it from rusting anymore because there is always condensation and stuff in these these tires just like in a gas tank uh, I know a lot of people I, I would have painted it yellow look we're not restoring this thing no one's gonna see that yeah but I know it's there well that's fine do what you want to do it's not gonna matter to me this is an old tractor I'm trying to get another year out of so I don't know if she's gonna want to go with another John Deere or what but is it really a John Deere? No. Is it sold by John Deere? Yes. But someone else makes it. They've had three or four different companies making tractors for them, and all they do is brand their name on it. So it's like the spindles for that mower deck right there, and the blades will fit 50 other different tractors, you know. Um, so technically it's not really a John Deere John Deere does not make this tractor they didn't make this tractor this is the same the same uh, transaxle transmission transfer you know transmission it's the same one that I had in my simplicity it's the same one that I've had in um, craftsman's you can take a lot of these parts off of this and put on a craftsman and vice versa so yeah come on guys Murray whatever MTD you know they say it's different from John Deere not really because they're they're using the same parts from the same company it's just different branding so all right let's get this put on here um, these are not directional but I like to make it just where you, you know make them consistent I just like to have the arrows pointing forward so these are not you know uh, yeah they're not um, they're not bar treads or anything like that Usually they'll just pop right on there, but it's all right. I got, I got a little time. There we go. Now, same way with this one. Uh, both these were leaking real bad at one time, but uh, what I did was. I put, I took them off the bead and put grease around the bead. I may have to stand up for this one. 
wish I had a tire changer. That would be nice. Whew. Sweating. May have to speed you up through this because this is the hard, the hard part here. Let me back you up a little bit here. <coughs> That's not helping much, is it? You get the idea. I'm gonna keep messing with this. Try to get a better screwdriver. Whew. And I'll bring you back when it's on there. You get the idea, I'm just, you know, this could take me a few minutes. All right, so this is what I had to do here because it just kept wanting to walk off on me. Because these tires are so deep dish here that they can't stretch far enough to go down into the center. So, sometimes you gotta do this. I've had to do this on car tires before too. Put a pair of vice grips there. Just work yourself around. That's all I did. All right, now we're gonna pop this up on the bead. That's always fun, because it goes pop. <laughs> so let me back you up here. All right, let's get some air. I need new air chucks. I was gonna get one that has the pressure gauge on it. It was like $27. I actually had it in my cart, but I changed my mind. So sometimes <laughs> I may have to put, I don't have any starting fluid, that sucks. Sometimes you can squirt starting fluid in these things and it'll pop them up on the bead for you. Wish I had my cheetah blaster. Love them things. Well, I'm gonna have to try to get some something flammable I thought I had some let me see what I got all right guys let's try this I better get my glasses on I don't know how flammable this stuff is but I wish I had starting fluid nope there we go all right, I did put the Schrader valve back in, so that way it wouldn't go back out, so it worked. And there we go. And it's popped up on the bead already. All right. Alright, let me see how much these are supposed to take. And we'll check them and put this back on. 14 PSI. Alright, I'm going to throw this back on there. It does have a grease venting on it, so I'll grease it after I'm done with everything. Then, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll do the other one off camera. You just saw me do this one. But if you want, I will, uh, if I gotta use that brake cleaner again to pop the tire onto the bead, I will. I'll show you that. And there we go, it's on there. All right, let me grab my cap. Alright, that may not go back on there. I'm going to leave this set out in the sun. Maybe it'll limber up. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. 
and like I said if you want I'll bring you back to uh, my phone's ringing oh Jesus I'm getting about a hundred spam calls a day and that's no joke but yeah if I got to do that trick again I'll show you you want to see that again all right then let me get to it and I'll kick you back on when we do the other side all right guys this one going to need a bushing they're not really bearings they're bushings see that all right so okay well that's going to happen at a later time <clears throat> okay let's wanted to show you that that's how you know if you need bushings remember this one didn't do that this one has barely any movement in it it's got a little bit but nothing major so that one's going to need bushings but they're really cheap so all right let me get back to work yeah tire guys don't like when you do that put fix the flat and stuff i totally forgot about that <laughs> Uh, that's not the one I put the grease around the seal apparently apparently it was the other one but that's okay onward Cool. I don't have my air compressor turned on. Running out of air. I think it just equaled out. Well, there's 12. Alright. <laughs> there's that one. Let me get it put on. side I got them back on but as you can see that one split I probably should have put it in some hot water but that's what they do it'll be alright might get a couple more I don't know we'll see it's just you know it is but yeah okay I don't know if I recorded that that's not here monkey took it up the street I filmed her backing out but Told her to take it up to the park, down to the gas station, twice, you know. And uh, but she's like, I think transmission here, right? I don't want to shift. And I'm, <laughs> yeah, I think it's got a 3,000 stall converter in it. That what that means is it's not going to shift until it hits 3,000 RPMs. I just heard it shift right before I turned you guys on. So I told her just drive it normal, but don't get on it too hard yet. So it needs run, um, but we can't take it out and run it because you know tags <laughs> but I figure if she wants she can run a couple laps up through here Bruno had to go with her so <laughs> all right I'll kick you back on when she comes past okay I think I hear her coming back oh yeah I don't know if you guys heard that It is a pretty car. <laughs> yeah, it's still, it's still got some nastiness in it. That's why I wanted, wanted her to drive it around. 
I'll have her pull in. But it's not stalling anymore when it's sitting at an idle in gear. So, all right. Sorry for the wind. She's coming back now. <laughs> Just gotta get the bugs worked out of it. Stalling again? <laughs> Neutral, hun. <laughs> yeah, timing's a little off. But that's all right, we'll get the bugs worked out of it. Hi, Mama. Yeah, it started backfiring when I went down closer to the park. It tried to, tried to come off, like turn off when I came back this way. It's alright. But it like hesitated. I think it's got some moisture in it. Probably. I'll, have to, I'll just drain the tank and yeah. yeah. Not a big deal. No. It's alright. <laughs> guys i'll be back with you huh it's his car you know i know it's his car his truck his boat his suv yeah. his tractor he's got another tractor out back a golf cart <laughs> everything in that garage is his oh yeah yeah he gets everything when we're gone don't he yeah <laughs> only one i got <laughs> yeah. all right let's take this thing around back Got a cam in it, boys. That sounds pretty good, though. <laughs> Put it around this way. adjustment okay well there we go all right I gotta I think I'm gonna wait a little bit pick up my tools when it's not so hot because it's hot <laughs> all right hi monk okay. she's getting her camera ready she's gonna be doing a video guys so Timu <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Monk? Yeah. Get your tires done. Yay! Finally, after two years. It's okay. It's not his fault. <laughs> no. No. We either didn't have the money, or when we had the money, just it's something you forget about. You know, if it's on your car and it goes flat every day, you remember that. Yeah. That thing gets run maybe once 
every two weeks, like twice a month. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, you don't realize until you go, all right, I'm gonna go cut the grass. Yeah. So. And then we right. pumped it up, and then we had to pump it up. Yeah, there was only, there was only like 40 some bucks for and both now, of them, you get a set. So. Now we have the two front ones, so that's yeah. a good thing. The back ones are fine. For now. Mine needs two front tires. Oh, we'll work on that one next. Yeah. And then we'll have a backup. Because mine's, yeah, but yeah. Mine's, a, mine's like $10 more. Yeah. yeah. Mm, mine's going to be like 50 some dollars. We'll get them. So, all right, I'm guys. Just glad that's done. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. She barely meant to me and let off for now. So she's out. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Vet monkey. <laughs> See you guys. Bye bye and take care.